Great friend, Timberlake here. This is part of my month of Sudoku. We're doing a live solve today. This is a classic Sudoku by Jovial. I've featured Jovial before. I found this on the CTC Discord server. It was posted in August of 2021. And the notes by Jovial was, this is a slightly easier classic showing off an existing technique. What is that technique? I have no idea. Well, let's find out. And with that, it's solving time. So I am going to show off all the candidates. I expect this to be a challenging puzzle. And what am I looking for initially? I'm kind of scanning through the candidates here to see what is popping out at me. Uh, I notice that kind of four, sevens, and eights, kind of a three, uh, you know, three, five, five, six right here. Is there some more restrictions? I don't see any of that. Sixes, eights, nines. Okay, I'm kind of I'm scanning a row six here to see what restrictions are applying. I'm not really seeing any uh, hidden singles right now, but that might change. I'm gonna kind of run through a little bit more in my brain here to see what else I can find. Okay, I didn't see any hidden singles. Uh, see if there's any kind of pair action going on. No, I'm, I'm gonna go to filtering candidates. And if I missed a hidden single, I'm, I apologize. Look at the ones. What do we have here? We have some strong links up here at the top. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Looking to see. Nope, nothing I can do there with the ones. Let's go to the twos. And we have a pointing pair of twos right here, so I can get rid of those twos. That helps out a little bit. Also, yeah, I don't see anything else with the twos. Let's move on to the threes. Hmm, very interesting, very interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm looking right now to kind of see some restrictions. I'm looking for like swordfish type stuff right now because I don't see anything else that would be, like I don't see anything that, that would show, you know, some kind of like empty rectangle, those kind of things. Um, you know, this is nice, strongly, strongly, strongly. You can make an elimination there, but there's nothing there to eliminate. Uh, you have some strong links right there. You got some strong links right there. It leads to the same thing. So that's it's an interesting pattern right there. I'm not sure how I can take advantage of that. Let's see what I can do with it. Okay, so I do have something, and it's a fin swordfish. I'll show you right now what I am talking about. Right here, right here. Those will all be part of the swordfish. And this is your fin. Okay, if you remember previous tutorials, uh, swordfish is kind of a three by three. Basically, uh, you know, these candidates are limited to three possibilities in these three rows, uh, and the same three columns, three rows, except for this fin. So if this fin was true, this could not be a four, right? If that fin was false, you would have a swordfish. And with the swordfish, uh, you know that you would be able to eliminate all these other candidates. Um, but since it's a fin one, you can only make the elimination here in the same column in the same block. So this can't be a four. And you're like, uh, how does that work out? Well, try putting a four right here and then try to solve the rest of the puzzle. You'll notice you'll break the puzzle. You're gonna run to a spot where you need two fours in the same column. It's not gonna work for you. So that's kind of nice. Um, and it gives us a two, three pair. So this is always exciting when I see like, uh, buy by yourself because with BBC like two three three four now I'm starting thinking about chains that I can make from that is there another one that I can make uh, yeah actually where okay I see another one with the fours as well which is going to eliminate a different candidate okay so here's your swordfish and here is your fin you see how that works now it's Limited to the three columns. Oh, excuse me. Here's your fin. 
Fins got to be in the same column. Here's your fin. So if the fin's true, that can't be a four. Fin's false, we have a sore face. I apologize for clicking the wrong thing. We're going to eliminate that four right there. Okay, nice. Now I'm going to dice it up again. And do we have another one? Uh, I don't think so. All right, move on to the fives. That was kind of fun. Uh, fin swordfish, sweet. Okay, maybe that's what I should be looking for here, huh? I'm gonna look through. I don't see enough here going on with the fives, so I'll move on to the sixes. And what do we have with the sixes? And I'm not seeing any quick eliminations right now with the sixes. Let's move on to the sevens. And I see some potential here. I'm kind of scanning to see how many are in each uh, cell, roll call, block. No, I don't see another swordfish right now. I was kind of hoping for I don't really see it. All right, how about the eights? What do we have here? Uh, nothing I can do with the eights. How about the nines? All right, let's look at the nines. One, two. Uh, yeah, we have another fin swordfish. I think that might be the, the theme that we're looking for here. And it goes across there, there, and here. So that's your swordfish. It would be a swordfish if not for this. Thin. Okay, so what does that mean? It means if it's 3 by 3, you can eliminate a 9 from right there. Okay, eliminate that. Now let's see if there's another. I'm going to look to see if there's another uh, swordfish, kind of the way it was with the previous, uh, with the fours. And I'm not, huh, let's see if there's something here. You know, I'm seeing this one, two, three, one, two, uh, one. Yeah, 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 we can do this again. This is really cool, Jovial. I'm really digging this. And one, two, three. All right. Not sure if there's another way to, to see this, but you can see that limited these three columns. Here is your fin. And so what that means is... This can't be a nine right here because it's in the block and it cuts across. If there's a nine there, you can eliminate that one as well. Huh. Sweet. Oh, I wonder what that's doing for our puzzle. This is nice. Now I'm going to see if there's something else I can make or eliminate. You know, now this is like an empty rectangle type shape. I'm kind of excited about it, but, you know, stretching out, it's not really doing anything for me right now. But come here, you know, we have a... Uh, we have some interesting interaction going on here. Uh, the three, yeah, but it doesn't quite. The one, seven, seven, eight don't connect. The five, six, three, five, three, seven, seven, eight. I don't think there's enough yet to uh, to make that connection, huh? Like, like I can't do an X, Y chain or, or cell or anything with these. But I, I'm curious. I feel like this is the way. The solve path. This is a way to get through this puzzle. All right, let's move on to the next. I'm going to go back here again because maybe I missed one of these before. Maybe I missed one of these uh, these fin swordfish before. And it's kind of recage my eyes here and see if there's something I'm I'm missing. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. And now I'm not seeing one with the ones. And then now I'm going to look to see if there's something else. Nope, not seeing anything else with the ones. How about the twos? The twos, the twos, the twos, the twos. One, two. Nope, nothing with the twos. Okay, how about the threes? And for me, I feel like I'm taking a long time, but I this is a hard puzzle. 
you know, you saw we I haven't solved one candidate yet. Or I haven't solved one cell. It tells me there's, you know, I got to find the break in. And I take my time to find that break in because I enjoy this kind of a puzzle. I enjoy this intrigue, this type of solving method. Okay, okay. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, okay. Hmm. Strong, weak. Strong. Now I'm kind of looking for uh, some kind of X chain type action. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Okay, we have something here. Interesting. Okay. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Huh. All right, all right. So we have. It's like a continuous loop XJ, which is kind of nice. So we'll start here and we'll end here. But basically, what's going to happen is if this isn't a four, that's got to be a four. And so we can limit all these fours across here. Sweet. Okay, so see, let's see if I can explain this. So, like, if this wasn't, you know, strong and weak means a strong weak link. If the strong link is this is false, that's true. And a weak link, this is true, then that's false. And the way, basically, what you're saying is that this isn't true, you know, if this is false, then where would, what would be a four? And, you, and you'll end up here going, well, if this is false, that's a four. But if it's true, obviously that would be a four as well, right? So we're limiting the fours to these two spots. So this is a strong link, there's only two of them. This is, consider weak link, yep. This is a strong link, because there's only two again. And, and a strong link can be also a, a weak link. It's called a, a um, times you get weak link. Weak and strong, yep. And if we stop right there, you can eliminate that a four from that cell. Weak, strong. So strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. And you go here, weak, strong. So it's kind of a continuous loop of just one candidate. And what that means, since you're ending here, is any the cells these two see, you can eliminate a four. That is not a four. That is not a four. That is not a four. And we're going to have a break in. Three, two, one. Look at that. Four, five, nine, triple. Love it. I love it. This is awesome. And maybe I missed that before with the fours, uh, but I didn't, you know, I was kind of looking at the swordfish idea. Oh, this is really cool. Really, really cool. And so now you have a one, two, three. Uh, you can see, and let me get rid of that. So you can see there's only one, one up here in row one. And now I'm going to kind of scan down. You have two ones right there. Okay. Give me more ones. How about with the twos? Oh, we have a naked single seven right there. Four, six, four, six. That has to be a three. Four, five, nine. The nines are limited to the top. That makes sense. Uh, four, six, eight. Okay, I'm looking here. It's kind of scanning down. I think I only see one place for seven in column eight. Seven, seven. We got three sevens down there. Can't solve for that just yet. Oh, well, we're, we're well on our way. Well on our way. All right, I just got to recage my eyes. I want to look for because we made so many inductions. I see a two five six triple. I'll point this out because I like pointing these things. So two five six boom means that you can get rid of five and six. And so you'll see you can solve that for a seven, that for a four, right? So that was a, a naked triple right there. Six eight six eight means that has to be a two, that has to be a nine, that has to be a four. And also you can get rid of all these other sixes and eights because that's a naked pair. Gives you a one five seven. A one five seven across the top means that can't be a five, so that's a three. And then the one five seven basically goes for the entire thing. So this is a two six nine. The eight's by itself, right? And then you can solve that for six, that for five. Uh, two five. Now that's a naked pair, so I can get rid of any twos and fives that are in block eight. So we can solve that. Eight three six uh, seven three seven eight. You see, now I'm just. I think we cracked this puzzle. That was super cool, Jovial. What I love, and I've done seen this with Jovials before, where you're working on one technique and one strategy, and then it's a complete curveball. It's like, oh my goodness, I gotta switch to something completely different. Two five two five means that has to be a nine. And 
so the, it's caused me to think beyond like normal solving strategies. You know, usually the reward is, oh, if you can figure out these fin swordfish, you get the break in and solve the puzzle. In this case, it wasn't. There was another strategy, which was a uh, exchange. Uh, and it's also a, a form of um, an alternate inference chain. And that, you know, continuous loop, actually. Like, it's all those things. And that's how you get to solve the puzzle and have the cool break-in. Well, again, thank you, Jovio, for letting me feature these puzzles on my channel. Thank you all uh, for watching this. Please like, comment, subscribe to some more hobbies. Don't miss any new content. Every day in February, you're going to see a puzzle from me. I guarantee it. Uh, don't forget also to check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you again so much for watching.